In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from 2 Samuel chapter 19, verses 5 through 8, where I'll ask the question, what is the price of leadership? Second Samuel chapter 19, verses 5 through 8 says, Then Joab came into the house to the king and said, You have today covered with shame the faces of all your servants, who have this day saved your life and the lives of your sons and your daughters and the lives of your wives and your concubines, because you love those who hate you and hate those who love you. For you have made it clear today that commanders and servants are nothing to you. For today I know that if Absalom were alive and all of us were dead today, then you would be pleased. Now, therefore, arise, go out and speak kindly to your servants. For I swear by the Lord, if you do not go, not a man will stay with you this night. And this will be worse for you than all the evil that has come upon you from your youth until now. Then the king arose and took his seat in the gate. And then the people were all told, Behold, the king is sitting in the gate. And all the people came before the king. This is what happened after David had his victory over Absalom. Absalom, his son, had launched a coup attempt and had established himself as king. And David was on the run. And it wasn't until he had won a battle and his son Absalom was killed that he was able to be put back on the throne. But at the same time that this is happening, David has lost a son. He has lost a son. And he is absolutely distraught by the fact. He is crushed by the loss of this son, even a son who had rebelled against him and tried to take his throne away and had done all sorts of terrible things. And it's in his grief that Joab, his commander, comes to him and gives him these words, tells him that you're making a mistake by grieving publicly for Absalom. This man who had stolen your throne who had launched a battle in which 20,000 people died. You're mourning for him when you should be reveling in your victory. This is the background for three thoughts answering the question, what is the price of leadership from 2 Samuel chapter 19, verses 5 through 8. Thought number one, others first. If you are going to be a leader, you need to think of others before yourself. And this is not always an easy thing to do because we all have our personal issues that are going on all the time. But we have to think beyond that if we are going to effectively lead others. This is something that David wasn't doing in this circumstance. He was overcome by his own grief, which is certainly understandable with the loss of a son. But he had bigger issues at hand than his own grief and mourning period in this moment. Because what Joab said, it might have been true. It might be true that all of his followers would leave and they wouldn't support him anymore. So as a leader, one of the costs is thinking about others before yourself. Thought number two, self-reflection. What David does when he is overcome by his grief is fail to adequately reflect on all of the things that are taking place. Now, certainly, I think he's in the process of doing that, but he didn't take into account the great price that was paid for him to remain on the throne. He didn't take into account the fact that he was going to have to kill his own son who had rebelled against him. And because he didn't process that information in advance, because he didn't do that adequate self-reflection before all of this took place, then he's in this situation where he has to be rebuked by one of his commanders, where he has to be told, you're making a mistake. You're not doing the right thing. You need to immediately take your place, sit at the gates of the city, and do your job. David needed to do some self-reflection. He needed to work through the grief, the grief of the great betrayal of his son and his inevitable death. He needed to do that, but he wasn't doing it at the right time. Thought number three, sacrifice. The price of leadership ultimately and always is sacrifice. You have to give things up in order to effectively lead a group of people. And this is one of those things where we don't like it. We don't like the idea that we have to give something up in order to have something greater. But 
That's the truth of the world. That's just the way things work. That sacrifice is acknowledging that in order to have something better in the future, you might have to give up something good now. And this is the price of leadership. What did David have to give up? David had to give up a relationship with a son whom he loved. A son who had done what he probably ought to have done regarding the situation between Ammon and Absalom. That should have been handled by David, which he didn't do. He didn't make the appropriate sacrifice in that situation. So he is forced to sacrifice more later on. As we are engaging in leadership in all sorts of different areas, be it in the church or just in our regular everyday life, we need to recognize that there is always sacrifice that needs to take place, that we need to do some self-reflection in order to make the appropriate decision so that we can think of others first and properly lead people. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of 2 Samuel chapters 15 through 19. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the description, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.